This diet plan is simple and is designed considering fasting and certain foods which needs to be avoided. Following this diet will help you lose up to 4 to 5 kilos in 9 days. So let's get started. For breakfast, I have sweet potato and a cup of warm green tea. Sweet potato or shakar kandi is allowed to consume during Navratris. The recipe is very simple. Boil or steam sweet potatoes, cut them in cubes and ship them to a bowl. If you want to saute them, then do so in a teaspoon of ghee or clarified butter. I took only one potato as mine was pretty large in size. Mine is with orange flesh. You can use any color available. You can also have as much as you want until you're full. Sweet potatoes are versatile and delicious. They have good amount of fiber, vitamins and minerals. They also help stabilize blood sugar, are high in antioxidants and aid in weight loss. They promote satiety and cut food cravings and that's what is needed when you're fasting. Next add Himalayan pink salt to taste and sprinkle some crushed black pepper. And in the end, sprinkle some lemon juice. Serve it with a cup of warm green tea and your breakfast is ready. Isn't it simple? Next comes lunch, which is way more easier than breakfast as it's going to take only a minute to prepare. For lunch, I have a protein bowl for you. To make it, take a bowl and add one cup of yogurt. Here I'm using Greek yogurt instead of regular one as it's much thicker and has more calcium and protein as compared to the regular yogurt. If you can't get Greek yogurt, then simply use the plain yogurt. First, top the yogurt with one tablespoon of good quality honey. Here I'm using Manuka honey, which is considered to be one of the most healthiest honey in the world. If you don't have Manuka, then try using any other good quality honey. Next, add five chopped almonds, five chopped pecans or walnuts, one teaspoon raw flax seeds, and one tablespoon of chia seeds. And our lunch is ready. Adding yogurt to our diet fastens body's fat burning ability. Your body is able to lose more weight and belly fat. Here I'm using flax seeds for some crunch, but if you want, you can also replace the seeds with flaxseed powder. Flax seeds I'm using are from Nutrivish brand. Flax seeds and chia seeds both are high in proteins and fiber and are perfect for weight loss. Having these seeds along with the almonds, walnuts, and yogurt. Gives your body a boost of plant-based protein and your body is able to lose fat without losing muscle mass. It will also keep you full till evening and help with food cravings. Next is the time for an evening snack. Here you have two options. First option is to have a bowl of fresh fruits along with a cup of warm green tea. You can choose any seasonal fruits of your choice. Fruits have high water content and are rich in fiber, minerals and vitamins. They will help your body from dehydration and also provide instant energy and a feeling of freshness. The second option is a bowl of roasted makanas or fox nuts with a cup of green tea. Makana are low in sodium and high in calcium, potassium and magnesium. They keep you fuller for a long time, thus helping with weight loss. To make them, take a kadai or a pan and dry roast a bowl full of makanas till they turn light brown. Once done, shift them to a plate. Now add 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter in the kadhai. Once it's hot, add 1 fourth cup of raw unsalted peanuts. When they start to turn light brown, add 1 fourth cup of coconut flakes. Stir fry them for a minute and then add 1 teaspoon of cumin or zira powder, 1 teaspoon of dry mango or amchur powder and 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. If the given spices are not consumed in your household during Navratri, then please skip them. Next add Himalayan pink salt or Sena Namak as per taste. Fry them for half a minute and then add the dry roasted makanas. Mix all well and cook for a minute so that the spices are well coated. Now add few raisins. Sprinkle some freshly chopped coriander leaves and turn off the heat. Shift all to a bowl and sprinkle some more freshly chopped coriander leaves on top and now your evening snack is ready. Have it along with a cup of warm green tea. Now let's come to the last meal of the day which is dinner. For dinner, I have a paneer recipe along with kuttu or buckwheat ki roti. To make this recipe, take a kadhai or a pan and add 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter. Next, add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds or zira. Once they start to splutter, add some finely chopped ginger. When ginger starts to turn light brown, add 3 4 cup of tomato puree. Many people refrain adding tomato as they consider it as a vegetable. But technically, tomato is a fruit, hence can be a part of the fast. Cook it for 2-3 to three minutes on medium heat. Add Himalayan pink salt as per taste along with freshly crushed black pepper. Next add pieces of paneer or cottage cheese. 
Paneer is rich in proteins, healthy fats and low in carbs. It is a perfect night food as it has positive effect on muscle quality, metabolism and overall health. Please use fresh cottage cheese during Navratri to avoid adulteration. If you wish to know how to make paneer at home, then do watch my video on the same. Its link is in the description box. Cook for another 3-4 to four minutes until all the paneer pieces are coated well with the puree and the spices. In the end, add a few finely chopped green chilies and coriander leaves and it's done. This recipe can serve two people. One person should have only 3-4 to four pieces of paneer. Now to make kuttu or buckwheat flour roti, first step is to make dough with buckwheat flour. Dough won't be as soft as a wheat dough as buckwheat flour is gluten free. This flour doesn't spike your blood sugar levels and is also rich in fiber and iron. Once the dough is made, divide into medium sized balls and roll them using a rolling pin. In the end, I prefer cutting the rolled dough with a saucepan lid to give a perfect round shape. Make the roti as you normally do on a hot griddle or tawa and in the end, you can add some ghee on top to keep it soft. Have the paneer recipe with only one kuttu or buckwheat flour roti as the idea is to have more protein in form of paneer and less carbs in form of roti. After 30 minutes, have a glass of almond milk. You can easily make almond milk at home like the way I have made. The video link on how to make it at home is in the description box. Switching to almond milk or cashew milk is beneficial as they have more nutrients which your body would need during fasting period. Though this is optional, if you don't wish to have then avoid this part or you can have one glass any time during the day. Few do's and don'ts are Avoid drinking aerated drinks, tea, coffee during fasting. Drink sufficient water in a day to keep hydrated. If possible, add two glasses of hot water in a day. Sago or sapudana and singhara atta, also known as water chestnut flour, are usually consumed during Navratri. Though they are healthy but are also high in carbs, Hence, opt for a nutrition-packed protein food to keep you healthy, active and aid in weight loss. One family may use red chilli powder or dry mango powder and the other may not. Hence, depending on your beliefs and family traditions, feel free to add or skip spices or other food items. So this is how your Navratri weight loss diet plan should be. Healthy, nutritious, low in carbs and high in proteins and fiber. Hope you like this diet plan. Do share and like and subscribe if you still haven't and I will see you soon with a new video. Till then, may Goddess Durga illuminate your life with health, wealth and prosperity. Happy Navratri. Bye-bye.